Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cooking at Luca's. Um, today I made another version of pork and broccoli rabe. <laughs> um, I was starving one day this past week and decided that, you know, I, I had, didn't have much time between classes so I stopped at the grocery store, bought pork chops and made this in about, I'd say 20 minutes. Um, so it's super, super quick and really, really easy, and it was delicious, so I decided to make it for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching me cook that. Um, today I have a story that I wrote this past week, and um, it's like a little memoir type deal, but you'll see why it's not in just a second. <laughs> um, I don't have a title for it yet, but I hope you enjoy. I can smell the heat pressing against the freshly cut grass. I'm suffocated by it. It's sweet and sticky. I try and escape the blanketing sunlight and the heat that comes along with it. In the shade, the sun still penetrates a low canopy, hitting my face in little droplets, but without the overwhelming heat. A random fence stands distanced from the rest of the field, shaded, isolated. And since it's shaded, I climb the short fence and I just hang on. After climbing around the fence like a spider or a lizard, my arms tire and I get off. There's cheering that rings distantly under the heat, the blanket from which I must escape. So to continue being a little renegade, I decide to go on a little journey around the perimeter of the field and eventually return to the blanket and back to my family. I find the trailhead behind the Pepsi sign and enter the cool, darker forest where in the canopy birds sing for rival choirs underneath a shield from the blanket. I follow the trail to a little unshaded zone where butterflies land on my shirt and where bugs crawl in the dirt. These bugs lead me to a stream, naked of any vegetation, under the densest part of the canopy, and find frogs. I pick one up and hold it in my hands, and it looks at me. It blinks, and its eyes sink into its head. And instead of opening them back up, it begins to lie flat and burrows under my skin. <laughs> um, that's the whole story. Um, I was going to finish it, but I kind of like leaving it like there. Um, I have ideas of what could have happened and um, what I could write you know, to finish the story, but I enjoy kind of leaving it like that. <laughs> um, my sister used to play softball and she's four years older than me. And I used to go to her softball games when I was a kid over the summer. Um, and on that, you know, softball field, there was a kind of a, a standalone fence and there was a little trail behind the path and, or behind the path, behind the fields. And um, I always used to go exploring with another little boy that um, had an older sister that played softball. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you have a nice rest of your day. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you all within the next few weeks. Bye.